This is a poolology video. So for people with a poolology book, for any questions you may have had, um, hopefully this will answer some of them. This is one little shot. This object ball is on a 20. I've got it sitting right here. It could be anywhere on this line from here to there. And this same thing works, the same aim points. So what I want to do is just show how this works. This is going to be the position of the object ball, which is a 20, second diamond. This is the pocket. Now, if you'll notice my aim points, well, they're not aim points, but all of these cue balls are lined straight through the center of the object ball. And I've got them labeled zero through seven. So really what they do, this is halfway. Well, as you can tell from the camera angle, halfway between the pocket and the position value of this ball, which is a 20. Even if the ball were right there, this is still halfway. My ball, it just happens to be right here. So this is halfway. That means if the cue ball were sitting here, center of the cue ball through the center of the object ball pointed to here, I'm aiming for a half ball hit, it, which is a four. So I've labeled the fractional aim points that you would use for these positions. Oops. I've, I've labeled them zero through seven. These are just eighths. That's a straight in shot. That's a seven eighths, but we'll, I'd rather call it a one. That's a three quarter, but it looks better calling it a two. Um, that right there is going to be a five eighths. There's a half ball shot. There's a three eighths. There's a quarter ball shot and there's a one eighth ball shot. And these are all just telling you that if the cue ball through the center of the object ball points right here, then that's going to be a one eighth aim or a number seven. If it points here, it's a number four. Well, halfway between here and here would be a two. Halfway between here and here would be a six, which is a quarter ball. So these are the basic quarter alignments. Here's the half ball aim. There's a three quarter ball aim. There's a quarter ball. And then these are the little ace that are in between, which is here, there, and there. So really, this system is more of about visualizing this than it is doing any math. The math can be done, but you don't need to do the math if you can just visualize these little distances in your mind or practice them like this with golf tees or something. But basically, if I've got a ball out here like this, let's grab a few balls here. If this object ball is sitting there and the cue ball is on this line, the number two, that means it is pointing. This is zero. This is one. These are eighths. It's pointing at a two. Center to center is pointing at a two. That tells me I need to aim for a two on this ball, which is a three quarter ball aim. I'm going to be aiming halfway between the middle and the edge of the ball through the center of the cue ball. Gives me a three quarter ball hit. And all that really means is that when the cue ball gets down here to right there, I'm right on that line. From the perspective of the cue ball to this ball, three quarters of the cue ball is overlapping three quarters of that ball. And only a fourth of them kind of are hovering, not being used there. But if it's over here, I can tell by looking at this line, half of the cue ball, when it gets here, will be overlapping half of the object ball. That's a number four. If it's over here, only a quarter of them. I'm, I'm looking right at this straight line from the cue ball to my ghost ball, and only a fourth of the cue ball is overlapping a fourth of that ball. That's a quarter ball hit. It's a fourth. And it just happens to be from there, I am pointing to zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Center to center is pointed right at this six. 
which tells me to aim for a six, which is a quarter ball hit. Um, now the pullology book, it was too complicated to try to label everything like this and make the math work. But visually, you can use these numbers. It's a little easier to keep track of in your head, zero through seven, instead of, you know, seven eights or a, a three eights or a five eights or whatever. You just label them zero through seven. They're all just eighth ball, eighth of a ball difference on the aim. So this is how the system works. And the questions I've been getting are like, what do I do? How does it work? If this ball is sitting here and the alignment value, so this ball is on a 20 and the alignment value is a 20. So it's pointed here. Well, it doesn't work. The ball is still cuttable. It's a very thin cut. If I put the ghost ball out here like that, and then I come over here and I look at this line, I can see that they're going to, it's going to hit a sliver of the ball, about a 16th of a ball in order to pocket that ball. But the system is only designed to work between here and there, not over here. So that's why this is grayed out. So anytime the, the, um, the system shows you the ball is beyond a one-eighth hit, that doesn't mean it's not makeable. It just means that the system isn't going to work for that shot. It's outside of the parameters that the system was designed to use. And to, to be honest, the system is extremely accurate for shots that fall anywhere between five, three, four, five, right in there. You get used to using this system, you will never miss cut shots, basically, from anywhere in that angle. You're just not going to miss them anymore because that hovers around the edge of the ball. It's either right on the edge of the ball or a little outside or a little inside the edge of the ball. And if you can start leaving yourself angles like this in your position play, your game's going to skyrocket. You're just not going to be making a lot of mistakes. Um, unless you have to juice the cue ball up and it's, an e it's easy to mess up like that. But the system works really well from here to about in here, the closer you get to this seven, the less accurate the system becomes. But if you're whizzing, you know, eighth ball shots in too often, then you need to play better position anyway. Because, you know, you really want angles that you can work with. And the best angles to work with are anywhere between about a two and a five. You can do a lot with the cue ball on those angles. You can do anything. Six isn't bad. Seven begins, it's just, it's just too thin. You can't control the, the ball as well. A six, I don't even really like the six all too much. But anywhere between this, this whole area right there, the system works great. And that's really what it's geared for. So I just wanted to make this video to show that when you do have a ball that's over here like that, and the system, you can tell by looking at it, the system says, anything from here on, we're good. Well, you can still cut this shot, especially if it were here. If I blank this out, like this, and I'm looking at this shot, right here. Now, I can cut that ball right there. It's, um, it's a little bit thinner than an eighth of a ball shot, but I know I can make it. That doesn't mean the system... The, the system is... Um, flawed, it just means that it doesn't give you the solution for that cut shot. You have to figure it out on your own. Because the cue ball needs to be, that's still on a 20, as long as it's not right in the center there. This is still on a 20. So if I'm here, it's a half ball. If I'm here, it's a quarter ball. If I'm on this line, it's an eighth of a ball from there. You know, a little further out, because the, the way the system works, you have to have at least eight to ten inches between the cue ball and the object ball for the system to really work and be accurate beyond the distance. It doesn't matter if you're three feet away or five feet away, it's going to work. But if you're this close, it's kind of common sense. And let's say um, I set this ball here and I set up a half ball shot that's right there. 
right? Now, if I get down to shoot this shot from there, I can aim right at the edge of the ball and I'm going to make it. I'm basing my aim off my initial view of center to center where it hits on that rail. And right there, it's hitting on a zero, one, two, three, four. A four is a half ball. But if the cue ball were here, and I'm still looking at center to center like that, I can still make it aiming at the four. It's just going to be a slight overcut about one degree. Still going to go. Um, but if I'm here, this close, I've only got about five inches right there between the cue ball and the object ball. The book explains that that's too close. It's outside of the system parameters. It just doesn't work unless you've got at least about an eight to ten inches between the, the cue ball and the object ball. But so from here, if I aimed at a half, the ball's going to hit right there because I am basing my aim point off the center to center line, not some imaginary ghost ball line. But once I get out this distance or further, it doesn't make that big of a difference anymore. Uh, from here, if I aimed at a half ball, I'm going to go to this side of the pocket, right about there. If I'm back here and I aim at a half ball, it's going to go just to the right of the center of the pocket. And if I were eight feet away and shot at it at the half ball, it's just going to go even a little further to the right of the pocket and go to the right side. But So it shifts as you get away from the, the ball. But it shifts too much as you get too close. Didn't really want to go there, but that's part of the system. Um, I really just wanted to show how this works. That all of these cue balls through the center of that object ball tell you where to aim just by looking. You don't have to do the math. If you're... This is two diamonds out, so if I have a quarter of the way up through there, I'm going to be setting on a two, which means I'm going to aim for a two, which is a three-quarter ball hit. Um, same thing works if the ball were on this line. I can still use that same set of lines. So if the cue ball were down here, like this, on this 20, and I have... And I'm lying for here. Here's the pocket. That's the center of the pocket, pretty close. So, oh, well, I don't want to lose that. Okay. Um, so, halfway between here and there, halfway is right there. That's the line I'm on. That tells me that I can make this by aiming right at the edge at a number four. A half ball aim. And it's odd, I go right there. You don't think that's the same angle, but I've got another video that proves it is. I've got a template I shall go around and, and show the shot. But if I set this cue ball out here and line it up to this pocket, just like, just like that, coming in right there. And I'm going to come over here and I look at this. In order for me to put the cue ball right there, I'm aiming through the center of the cue ball right at the edge. Of that two ball just like that that's the system that's how the system works if I were lying for here I'd aim for a two a three-quarter ball shot if I'm sitting here then I'm going one two three four five eighths but I would call that a, uh, a number five uh, this is a six I mean, it's a three eighths actually but because I'm aiming Five eighths away from straight in. So if I were aim for right here, it would be a three eighths aim. This is a quarter ball aim. This would be a one eighth ball aim. And if I set this out here, and I sit back here and look, I can see an eighth of these balls are overlapping right there. But if the cue ball were here, even if I can cut it, I can cut this ball in there, but it's outside of what the system can't really give me an accurate solution there. Just outside of the system parameters. That's the words I use all the time, is it's outside of the parameters of the system. And that's all I mean, is that it's really geared in this area, and the more you come out into this area, the more it's not 
It's not meant to give you what this is. It's really not really accurate on some eighth ball shots. But anywhere between a two and a six, it's very accurate. The closer you are to the half ball line, the more accurate the system is.